Hey Aries, so I'm here to do the new moon in Leo readings for yourselves. So the new moon in Leo, bringing it to layman's terms, because I don't like going into the full astrology of it all, because pe people get lost. Um, so basically, the big message of the Leo new moon is spotlight on you. Be your biggest fan. It's time to celebrate yourself. It's time, what do you want out of life? Sorry, I'm going to have to wet the whistle. Can you get really dry mouth? So I'm going to get you on from Believe in Your Own Magic. And that one's wanting to come. What have we got? Spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing the number 43. Do you know it's uh, number seven, numerology wise? Um, the number seven could be significant to you as well. Spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. Don't be afraid to stand out. Don't be afraid to like stand out of the crowd. Be your own biggest cheerleader. Singing is on a vibrational level, it's frequency. So when you change your body, when you change your frequency with song, with dance, that type of thing, you're going to manifest quicker anyway because it's actually dropping into your heart. So I love that. I'm going to use my empowerment deck to get the actual main reading for yourselves. Aries. Oh, you are in manifestational mode. The main energy and manifesting. So you're putting it out there. So there is a big emphasis on uh, frequency and vibration for yourselves over this Leo new moon. It's about bringing that Leo energy, that fasty, fiery, lioness, lion energy, that roar. You know, I'm going to roar for whatever I want. I'm going to roar for me. What's costing that energy is heartbreak. So you've been doing a lot of uh, releasing lately. Um, the, it could be a bit challenging at the moment. You may be working on shadow work, that type of thing. You may be feeling emotions. Maybe that's where music comes in because music kind of raises my vibe. I've got to be careful what I listen to, depending on what kind of mood I'm in. But sometimes it's good to put some slow music on, that things that bring up memories and things so that we can get upset over it. And, you know, crying is a power. Crying is a release. It's a major power and a lot of people poison themselves because they hold the tears in and then it creates all sorts, health issues, mental health issues, you know, when we live, we should just be releasing those tears. So your power in this situation is the queen. So being, being in queen or king mode, being in that divine feminine, that divine masculine mode and kind of ruling your own life it's like i've got everything i need or i will get everything i need you know she can hang the sword up she's not fighting she's not you know it's not dramatic i'm like no i'm just chilling i hang my sword up i've got all the knowledge that i need my books are now shut my scales balanced i've even got candles lit just in case the lights go out she's got her animal guards there you know vision hands you know it's like knowing without knowing uh seeing the bigger picture of things that's what owls and birds and that can do they can see from the bird's eye view so your power is to kind of like build a bigger picture i feel um especially within your manifestations so it's like if you are manifesting something big see the outcome but even put yourself in that outcome feel it smell it what's it going to smell like what's it going to feel like you know What's that day going to be like? Is it going to be warm outside? Is it going to be cold outside? Can you smell the rain? Put yourself in that actual manifestational energy. Because recent past areas, you've come into that phoenix mode. So yeah, you may have burnt out and it may have felt like you're continuously on this burnout cycle, but that's okay because the phoenix always rises bigger, better, stronger. So I love that. Phoenix rising. At present, we've got the crown chakra. So around this new moon, you are going to be receiving a lot of downloads. There is going to be a lot of activity around the crown chakra. The crown chakra is the umbilical cord to the universe. It's how they download us. You know, it's almost like they're feeding us our nutrients through the umbilical cord from the spirit. You know, we recycle it down through the earth. I keep saying this as above, so below and all that. It's definitely, we definitely need to get back into that energy. Going forward... Yeah, we have the Haunted card. I feel like it's more about saying goodbye to the past. I'm going to look back one more time and only to see how far I've come. And I love that energy. Um, I said very similar in the Leo reading, in the main energy though. But I feel like when you get to that Haunted point, it's not a part, it's not um, a Haunted energy. I feel it's more you're looking back and you're like, wow, look how far I've come. You will get there. Your power is recognition completing a cycle feeling that light being in that light and what did i say this leo new moon meant it meant putting yourself in the spotlight allowing yourself to be in that spotlight allowing yourself to stand out allowing yourself to sing 
dance, whatever you want to do. It's freedom within the self. I kind of feel your reading is, you know, she's, she's dancing there. So you've got dancing, you've got singing. I feel that frequency and vibration is very much around you for the next couple of weeks. Outside influence, we do have temptation. Um, the out, it's the devil card, it's the toxic energies, it's the negatives, it's jealousy, it's, uh, you know, that type of thing. So yeah, you may have someone who's testing your patience or you may have been tested in the past. I kind of feel we've got to kind of push that aside because you've got to remember that you're manifesting and you do have that heartbreak energy and I feel like that's coming from someone else's like kind of devil energy. You may be tempted to do certain things. I kind of want to say don't be too impulsive over the new moon energy. Think of the end goal. Don't be too impulsive to jump into something though, Aries. I do feel like you need fun in your life though because I'm seeing the temptation cards as actually fun. I'm seeing it as, you know, straight away I'm looking at the fire. Some passion, some fun. In your hopes and fears, freedom. Clearing karmic cycles, free as a bird. Again, that bird eye view. You've got to put yourself into that place where you will feel completely free. And then when you get there, you know, it's like, oh my God, I knew this was coming. I've got it. Fertility is your outcome. Taurus energy there, she's the empress. She's building a whole new world. You know, she's reaping what she's sown. So your outcome with the manifesting, you're sowing the seeds right now, but going forward, she's got a healthy crop there. She's she's reaping what she's sown. Really work on yourself. But again, for the next couple of weeks, Aries, raise the vibe, music, singing, dancing, do what you can. And he'll start dancing then. I've been doing it all morning, to be honest. But I shall love you and leave you there and see if this uh, clicky works to turn my video off. Bye.